I will bring this back up. And so one big thing right here is the triangle count. You can see that this is very poor and this avatar will still be flagged as very poor. Now, if you remember from before, I told you to keep up your Blender program, which is what we're going to be using to fix this. So in this situation exactly, there are a few things we can delete that we don't really use. So for this help screen right here, I can go ahead and delete this. I won't be using that. And additionally, I can go in the animator. I can go find where the help screen is. And I can also delete that from here so we're not wasting that space. So with that done now, our number has dropped, which is good. And so with the avatar itself, I don't really want to cut off a lot of polygons from this. I kind of want to keep everything attached. And with that, there's sometimes if you want to keep it only clothing, you can basically take the body underneath the clothing and go ahead and cut it off. But for what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and do the easiest part. So if you go to the eyes and I'm going to press L to select each of these eye rings, L and L again, and I'm going to press shift H and this will basically hide everything but the eyes. So as you can see to a certain point, the eyes actually stay inside of the head. And so we have all of this wasted space right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to quickly hit alt double click. This will line up right here in the middle. And so what we can do is we can hit, I'm actually going to do it right here. So Alt, double click, hit X, hit vertices, and we will delete that. And then same thing here, Alt, click, vertices, delete, uh, Alt, click, X, vertices, delete, Alt, click, X, vertices, delete. So we are left with the front side of the eye and this back side. And now what we can do is we can press L, X, delete, L, L, X, delete. And now, as you can see, we have removed some of this unused stuff over here. And if we Alt H, you can actually see that it didn't really affect the avatar at all. That missing space has now been removed and we've optimized the avatar a little bit. So this is actually just enough to push me over. If your avatar ends up having a lot more stuff, I would recommend deleting certain parts off of your avatar and then basically adding it to a different upload to keep it optimized. For this one, we didn't have to do a whole lot, thankfully. So now that that is done, go over to File, Export, FBX. Want to make sure that we're in the same location. Remember, FBX All, Animation Off, Armature, Add Leaf Bones, hit Export. And if we jump over into the Unity, we should now see our very optimized avatar. And right down here, as you can see, our triangles is good, good performance. Now, all I have to do now is add a thumbnail. So create new thumbnail, fill background. I'm going to give it a pink background. It's a little too pink. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit capture. And then now finally, I'm going to hit build and publish. And I'm going to basically wait for this to upload over to my account. And then I'm going to quickly hop over into VR and show off this one's ratings. Okay, so now that we are in game, um, basically, as you can see, I am in the avatar. This one is the original version with the very poor you can basically see the texture size, the triangles, uh, the material count. And then if we go over to our new uploaded version here and we change into the avatar, it'll load up. So as you can see, all of our controls are here. They are all working perfectly fine. We have our saturation, different textures and everything. We have the different hair accessories and the toggles for each of them. We have the piercings, add and remove. We have all of the outfits added back. And then additionally, we have the sliders and everything are working fine, the different blend shapes. And the biggest thing of them all, of course, is the actual stats. So if I go over to view details, you will now see that this avatar is a good performance rank. It has a download size of four megabytes, 
which is super duper tiny. We have a optimized texture memory. We have the uncompressed size. So this is basically the raw upload size. And we can actually get this lower if we were to delete stuff. We can see that our triangles is now below the threshold and it's considered a good avatar. Our skin meshes is set to one here and two here. And that is basically it. We also got the fizzbone components and transforms down. Uh, but yeah, that that is a full tutorial on how to completely optimize your avatar. Uh, if you found this at all useful, if you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Um, otherwise, please enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, this has been Pinky, and um, yeah, I hope you learned something today. Hello, this is Pinky, and uh, this is me saying my thank yous to my Patreons and YouTube members. Uh, starting off in the Goober tier, I would like to thank Tef, Sir Fappingson, Kit Chimera, Ethan West, and Emerald Knoll. And in the Mentally Insane tier, I would like to thank po Foxy Paws, Kirchin the Fluff, and Blue Nino. And then over on my YouTube memberships, I would like to thank Blue Nino and AZ3. What you guys do helps produce videos and keeps me afloat. Uh, I appreciate the support very much. If you're interested in getting a goober, like seen on the screen below, uh, please go to the description and head over to my Patreon. Otherwise, have a lovely rest of your day. This has been Pinky, and I hope I helped.